Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. Have you been struggling with a sense of heaviness or sadness that you can't seem to shake off? Has it become increasingly difficult to get out of bed every morning? In the midst of just trying to make it through each day, you may not have noticed certain changes in your thoughts, habits, and movements. It's important to take a step back and evaluate yourself to see if you are experiencing these changes as they might be signs of clinical depression. It's also important to be mindful of these and the possible link with depression in order to learn how to be patient with yourself as you heal. So here are six things depression makes you do without realizing it. Number one, withdraw from activities. Have you been losing interest in things you used to enjoy? You may have noticed that activities you used to like, such as singing, reading, or maybe even hanging out with friends, aren't that much fun anymore. You may have even stopped doing these altogether, whether you realized it or not. Number two, feeling worthless or guilty. Depression tends to involve feelings of worthlessness and excessive guilt. You may be blaming yourself for things more than you realize and placing much more blame on yourself than you deserve. You might consider yourself to be the sole cause of a breakup, even if your partner had their own faults or were even abusive. You might become preoccupied with events that don't turn out well, however trivial, and trace these minor mistakes to yourself. You may believe these to be proof of your own shortcomings. Without realizing it, you could be spending a great deal of time dwelling on negative experiences and what you think are your own feelings and flaws, when in reality, your thoughts may be clouded by depression, leading you to see yourself in an unrealistic, poor light. Number three, avoidance or escapism. The negative thoughts and feelings that accompany depression can be overwhelming and difficult to manage so you may find yourself trying to avoid them. You may be using your phone or familiar TV series and movies, or perhaps texting late into the night to escape your thoughts. You might also avoid talking and thinking about the future, which can bring up unpleasant feelings. Number four, eat less or more. You may have noticed that your appetite has changed. It's important to take a minute to evaluate whether you've been eating properly. Have you lost your appetite lately? You may be eating less, or perhaps feeling the need to force yourself to eat. On the other hand, you may have been using food as a coping mechanism. Food can be comforting, but depression may cause you to over rely on food for comfort, leading to overeating and craving unhealthy food. Number five, move differently. As with changes in appetite, the body can be affected by depression. Your physical movements may have slowed down. This is not just a feeling of slower movement. People around you could observe this. Basic actions such as walking, getting out of bed, writing or signing your name may take longer for you to do. On the contrary, you might be feeling restless. Without realizing it, you may be fidgeting, pacing, or wringing your hands. And number six, you lose concentration. Another thing you may not have noticed is a decline in your ability to focus. It may be more difficult for you to concentrate and make decisions which can affect a wide range of daily activities. You may find yourself delaying chores and putting off or having greater difficulty with assignments or work. It might be harder to fully concentrate on what you're reading or watching. You may also find yourself going back and forth with decisions, even when they're minor. Remember, if you're experiencing any of these, you're not alone in dealing with these struggles and understanding the issues brings you one step closer to healing. Treatment is also an option that has helped many others with depression. Can you relate to any of these points? I know them well, and if so, let us know and don't hesitate to reach out to a qualified mental health professional for support. And please share this video with people who might benefit. As always, the references are shown in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and until next time.